All right, welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future. If you're watching there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be going with Rakdos Midrange to start off our 12-hour stream today. Um, this is a, a solid deck. We had a, a good amount of success with this deck uh, in the previous format before RNA uh, was released. And, and since we've gotten a couple of, of good upgrades, most notably Bedevil. Bedevil is just a really strong removal card uh, to um, add into the deck. And we have Remadi as well. I have like... I don't know. This card, I always like think it's going to be better than what it is, kind of thing. Like, there's times like in the very late game, it's awesome, but early on, uh, it's fine. But I'm still wanting to try it out. Uh, you know, we still have it here in the deck, but I don't know. I've been less and less impressed with this card the more I play with it, kind of in general. But. Uh, Judith is really good if you're, you know, aggressive. Um, this deck's not an aggressive deck. This is uh, a deck that's trying to outlast the opponent. Um, so yeah, Judith doesn't doesn't help us out too much. Uh, yeah, no Argyle's Bloodfast. Theater of Horrors is basically our Argyle's Bloodfast. Um, yeah, we have that as like our enchantment that gains us cards and everything. So. All right, Rakdos midrange. There it is. I think this deck's pretty good. So I'm expecting us to do pretty good. Abby Mose, hey. Welcome everybody. Everybody, Fail Sensation, Carmax Ninja, hey y'all. No, not no captive audiences. Um, captive audience is kind of difficult to make work. We've played a few different captive audience decks, and um, it costs a whole lot of mana, and uh, you know, like there's a lot of like enchantment removal around. Hawkeye, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Gatsby, good morning. And Pilkey, White Jaguar, hey, y'all. Good morning. All right, turn one, Land War Elf. Great start on the play for the opponent. Oh, yeah. We're playing some Esper Angels later on. Absolutely. All right, let's just get that Wild Growth Walker out of here while, while we can before it gets, like, super big and pretty annoying. All right, now we need a Squire and look for a land. Or a Midnight Reaper. Hmm. Nah. Bam, bam. Oh, I am very glad they could just cast down a Seeker Squire. I, I think that's kind of being a little hasty there on the opponent's part. You know, Seeker Squire is just a 1-2. A you know, like, a 1-2 creature isn't going to be winning any games. So trading, like, a, an actual removal spell for just a 1-2, a um, I think that's kind of hasty there. Absolutely, Neritis. How's, how's everything going over there? In the... Video game developing world. Um, I guess Reaper uses our mana a tad bit better. Also, with us having Eldritch Reborn right now, Reaper would be like the best thing to get back if, if Reaper dies. That's certainly a, a, a card that's worthy of using a cast down on. Really glad no 
Vivian or anything like that. I mean, we do have an answer with Contempt, but... Maybe they have Find Finality. Play Siege and Commander, they get to Finality. Eh, yeah, whatever. Start working on a game called Fate of the Elder Gods from Greater Than Games. Also, collaboration on Spirit Island is on! Awesome. So many cast downs. Trips. I'm not sure if I want to throw out another Siege Gang Commander here. Oh, what? That's fine. I mean, even if they have finality, we have Immortal Sun going and everything's fine. So I don't need to worry too much about a finality there. Alright, um... Against Golgari, I don't think we really do very much, honestly. Maybe maybe not do anything at all. Oh, uh, we're pushing Intrusion Point back? Oh, man. It's got one month, 29 days, 15 minutes, and 31 seconds, though. Let's see. Yeah, I, I kind of don't think I, I do anything. Ritual for a bedevil. Ritual could be good. I, I actually think I may take out Direfully Daredevil. Because they're going to kind of have the same things I have. Maybe I'll play like two Rituals instead of the two Daredevils. I guess Daredevil Find Finality, though, is really nice. Daredevil Find. I certainly like having a lot of answers to, um, to Vivian. Maybe I'll put in Ritual over Eldest Reborn. Make them sacrifice some not-so-good creature. Five mana. We'll go one Reborn, one Daredevil. Split it down the middle. <laughs> See, this is the thing about Re... Remadi is, um, you know, we can play it on turn two and, and you know, rummage once, but it's like, we don't necessarily need to rummage. Our, our cards are all pretty good. We'll see if, like, by next turn, if we draw another non-land, and then, you know, we'll rummage away for a land. But, no, see, it's like, I want the lands. I kind of want this, I want the coil contempt, you know, I want all the cards that we have here. There's nothing I really want to get rid of. I also just don't need to play. I don't need to play it. It's just a two-two. I can wait a little bit and see if we're if we're not looking like we're going to hit our sixth land. Um, then I can get get rid of a spell because I certainly want to hit six land drops and play the Immortal Sun as early as possible. Yeah, the Doom Whispers and the sideboard help us against aggro. Against um, against aggro, we can struggle with having a a fast enough clock to turn the corner and everything. Um, and so that's what Doom Whisper can do. It can kind of it can come in for the Eldritch Reborn and the Immortal Sun. And um, 
and start attacking quickly. Well, there goes our Immortal Sun, unfortunately. All right, you're killing Phoenix, do your thing. All right, what's the idea? Disdainful stroke. That's rude. Um... What is my opponent doing not playing this Wild Growth Walker right now? I don't know, like that's afraid of lava coil. Well, they knew all the cards in my hand besides the card I just drew because of the duress earlier. So, like they knew I don't have lava coil. I would think I think they have another disdainful stroke. That would be my guess. Is they have another disdainful stroker in a gate. So, I don't really mind the Contempt getting countered. Okay. Yeah, they certainly have a counter spell. I think it's it's still okay to you know I don't I don't think just sitting back and, and never playing anything is gonna be the right move and because I want to empty my hand because the spectacle here of uh, being able to draw three cards so you know it's still still just trading one for one but you know like we can draw three cards here in a little bit and so you know I, I could have just discarded the Phoenix basically and drawn three cards here but I don't think that's worth it. Might as well get the disdainful stroke out of their hand. That's not a bad draw. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't have anything special to keep up with the marathon. No, not going for the 30 packs today. Doing, um, 
Yeah, I got the power of chat. There we go. Um, doing like the normal events with the win, going to win five or lose two. Um, with the packs not being too valuable, with our, I already have four of every rare in the set. Um, the event isn't isn't as valuable for me, with like every pack just being twenty gems basically. It's like what they all were yesterday. We did we did that event yesterday. Some. Well, I mean, the whole day yesterday. All right, good. I, I wanted to hit my opponent to turn on the spectacle. Hey, we get a land out of our deck before we draw our cards. That's good. Um, yeah, we have Elder Shaborn can just get us back or can only Phoenix anyway. Well dang. <laughs> yep, that's a that was a whiff. <laughs> yep, swing and miss right there. Okay, expecting another big crisis here in a little bit. Uh, next turn. So we're gonna have to find some kind of removal for this crisis, but we have a lot of removal spells in our deck. So it shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, I think Phoenix is just the best card for me to go get. Huh, Siege King? Attack! Oh, right! I could just shoot him dead if I just got Siege King. Uh, they're at three. <laughs> uh, early in the morning. Yeah, no, I, I definitely could just get the Siege Gang and just shoot them there at three. Yep, certainly could have done that. Well, now it may be a little bit difficult to win this game. I know I could bedevil the Phoenix and attack in. Uh, I think I want to save the bedevil for this big crisis, though. Yeah, should, should be matched. We'll see if we draw another... See if we draw another one. We're not, not necessarily in the best spot because they got four cards in hand. The battlefield's just kind of clogged up. Hmm. Well, so much for winning this game now.
Hmm. We're not we're not dead. We're not scooping. The game's not over. Gotta get rid of the Carnage Tyrant because of the trample damage. If I I can like I could like kill both wild growth walkers and have none of my creatures die, but then we're down to one and the, the trample damage from the wild growth walker is gonna be too much. All right, now we're dead. Well, that was my fault. Let's try again. That Aldous Reborn was pretty good. That hostage taker they had was really brutal. Do I want a theater horrors instead of this daredevil? I don't even know if that Elisha Born is really that good. Let's get a couple theater whores in to help grind a little bit. Yeah, we're mostly playing Eldest Reborn for the, the third chapter of getting something back. This is basically the same hand we had last time, except for we are... Uh, down a card and also, also being on the play. Basically down another card. So, we'll see if we can get to the Immortal Sun this time. Uh, you know, last time it was duress away. Um, I think I'm going to re -moddy and get rid of Siege Gang Commander, honestly. I think I want to hit land drops. Yep, on early today, sport. Um, we hit a sub goal yesterday to do a 12 hour stream, so we are, we are on early. You can tell I had the win that last game, threw it away. Uh, Dibble says, I was playing a game last night in a mirror match where, with a gate control deck, we both had three of the 8-8s on board. They were at 30 life, I was at 17. I swung knowing I didn't have an out, opponent blocked everything instead of killing me on the crackback and I came back and won with a guild summit draw. Awesome. Hey, nice game. Stop taking my immortal sun opponent. Alright, let's try to find another immortal sun. Or a theater of horrors. No, this is not the metagame challenge. Which is kind of weird. We played against Sultai zero times, like, all of yesterday with that metagame challenge. Thanks, Callie. Am I attacking here? No. Let's 
It's not good. It's also not good. Oh yeah, ritual so would be really nice. Now I feel bad for wasting that bedevil because of the hostage taker. Can we just draw an immortal sun, please? Oh no, they can take immortal sun. Hmm. Well, I like that they attack, that we could trade a 2-2 two -two for a 4-6. You know, I love trading that 2-2 two -two for... for Wild Growth Walker there. We did not draw a removal spell, though. We got one more turn to draw a removal spell. And this hostage taker. I'm not sure why they didn't just do that before combat and then attack with everything. I'd be forced to jump, but doesn't doesn't really matter. Too many lands there. Well, that's really sad. How I had had the win on the first, the second game, and deck didn't really help us out after that. Yep, that's what our opponent's doing. Golgari with hostage taker and. Uh, and Krasis. It's the most popular deck these days. Hey Angel, good morning. Um, I think Carnage Tyrants have been. Uh, Carnage Tyrants don't see nearly as much play as they did before to help make room. So, Seeker Squire. Um. It's just like, you know, it gets to attack and block, uh, especially the block part, which is which is really nice. And it's, you know, it, it immediately affects the battlefield, where treasure map takes like a long time there. Um, Squire pairs well with, with Midnight Reaper also. Like, you, you want cheap creatures with Midnight Reaper. Uh, to be able to gain more card advantage with Midnight Reaper, so it, you know, it's a it's a good chump blocker with Reaper in play. Hey, Paranoia! No, you, you did really good. Good game. Yeah, very nice match. Alright, so we gotta deal with a Hadana's climb somehow. Don't know if we have the ability to really deal with a, a Hadana's climb.
Yeah, I think we. T I think we. Now that I think about it, I think we talked about that last time we played the deck to fit in a field of ruin or two. Um. That that this mana base can could support it. Um. And that would be a nice card to have. I don't really see a way we can win this game right about now. Like the Hydra Crisis can be 10 10. So Crisis is such a Punisher card? What does that mean? So, what's a Punisher card? Yeah, I, I messed up the game too, that last match. I had lethal, and it's early. <laughs> a card that punishes. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a definition, I suppose. A Punisher card is a really good card that can't be fully stopped. Hmm. Um, what deck would I recommend against Sultai? Honestly, not exactly sure. I don't... I haven't found a deck that I absolutely love the Sultai matchup. There's a lot of decks, like including this one, where I think we do... do well against Sultai. But nothing I absolutely love the matchup yet. You think Four Color Gates has a fantastic matchup there? Definitely possible. No, when we played Mardu Control before, we did really well with Mardu Control. Yeah, we're going to be bringing in Ritual of Sits from the, from the sideboard. They're not in the main deck. But Ritual of Sits would be... Certainly be a good card in this matchup, as we can, t as we can see. I don't really know why they haven't just been given, making the Krasis a big flying trampler. things rearrange and so then misclick the blocks okay oh they do all have trample because of Zagana right I forgot about Zagana making the other one trample yeah that's a problem Alright, we got Zagana out of here. Hmm. Midnight Reaper is just gonna kill me.
Played Esper Angels last night at FNM, lost to Mono Blue in a close match. Dominated two and three color Drakes as well as Orzov Hero. Awesome. Nice, Rex. Yeah, that Esper Angels definitely has a, a good amount of potential. I'm excited to play that one again later on. Um, I have a Boros deck and I have four spots for cards open and I have the choice between Chajik and Legion War Boss. Um, and so what combination of those two should I play? I like Tajik kind of more than Warboss in general. But Warboss is the kind of card that really... So, like, Warboss rewards you for playing a lot of them. Tajik does not reward you for playing a lot of them. Uh, the best of the Angel decks... So it's it's kind of tough because, so I, I like Tajik. I'd want I'd want you know, like two or three Tajiks. But then, why aren't they not just giving this crisis trample and killing me? I guess I'm just dead, no matter what though. Yeah. Um. But it's it's weird playing like one war boss though. Should I play Doom Whispers in this matchup? So we're playing Ritual of Set. Elder Reborn did not seem like it does too much. Neither does Daredevil. I wonder if Doom Whisperer is better than Siege Gang in this matchup. With their, they just have big creatures. Siege Gang going wide probably doesn't matter as much. Get these moment of cravings also in to to fight their mana creatures and everything. Let's try this. Yeah, I, yeah, good call on the cravings. Yeah, I like the cravings too. I think we can basically kill everything. I like killing like the mana creatures, um, the explore creatures, uh, growth chamber guardian. Kind of get rid of anything with it. No, I haven't really considered Vona's Hunger. Um, yeah, I, I don't think Vona's Hunger is too strong of a card. Now, d playing Duress for Hadana's Climb is is not gonna it's not gonna end up well for us most of the time. Most of the time, Duress will just whiff. Especially if we're playing like a, a long game like we're trying to do, just, you know, on turn 12, drawing a duress. It's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, Mortify. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to play Rakdos Control either. This isn't, you know, we're not playing in a, a control deck per se. But no, I, I certainly think Mardu is, is better than Rakdos or Orzhov for control. Got lots of lands. I could save the Rimani till after the Doom Whisperer. I guess I could just like bedevil the Growth Chamber Guardian. Maybe that would have been the play.
Hmm. We have been getting disdainful stroked a whole lot this league. We're the best mid-range decks at the moment, still Golgari. Yeah, still Golgari. We've had a lot of success with different Angels decks, and oh, that was a question from earlier, was like the best of the Angels decks that we've been playing, and Mardu and Esper have been the two that I'm most impressed with there. What would you, with Mardu Angels, what do you sideboard against Gates? Uh, I don't. I don't remember just off the top of my head exactly what's all in the the sideboard and everything. Uh, I I know I played duress. That's that's in there. Hey, Redgrave. Yeah, we need to draw Ritual Set. Yep, we absolutely need to draw that card. Need to draw a ritual set. We got three of them. Hmm, mountain. Or we can draw a mountain. Swap Dovin for Karn. I don't. I don't have either Dovin or Karn in the Esper Angels deck. Don't have either one. Thanks, Fire Lich. Too many lands. Our opponent can do this Winged Temple of Orozco at instant speed. I think we should have died a lot faster in these two games than what we did. But it doesn't matter. Uh, I made one horrible play the first match. And the deck just <sighs> did not help me out at all. Oh, and two. Those games weren't close at all. Um, I don't know, we just didn't have things to do. We didn't we just didn't have you know, basically any kind of sources of card advantage really. Our our opponent's green decks just with the explorer creatures, growth chamber guardians, hydroid crisis, they just completely ran us out of cards every game. Uh, it was just kind of like the same thing over and over there. 
Um, you know, we have a, a couple sources of, of card advantage. We didn't have them, any of those games. So, this deck's certainly not bad. That's the worst performance it's ever had. Um, this is usually, usually we do really well with this deck. So, yeah, if you just watch those two games, you know, the deck doesn't look very good, like those, those two matches. Uh, but to be fair, the first match was we had we were up a game and I had lethal on the battlefield on the second game, so I, I should have just two would the first one. Um, but we just got we just you know against growth chamber guardians there just kind of drew lots of lands. Chupacabras would would be good in those matchups for sure. Um, Chupacabra would be pretty nice, but yeah. So there we go. All right, so that's that's a uh, Rakdos midrange. You know, it we'll, uh, we'll have to think about what we want to do. Okay, I did add a field of ruin. I thought so. I thought I remember last time we talked about wanting a field of ruin in the deck for those kind of lands like Adonis climbs. So yeah, we do have one. Just didn't really see it though. But all right, all right. If you're watching on YouTube again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.